So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your machine learning models. Um, and we're going to do this using uh, Flask. So this is Python based. So in my example, uh, on the right here, you can see that the user can select a file. So in our case, let's select the dog. Um, and when they hit this button, it returns some text and it says that this is a pug, uh, along with how certain it is. Um, and then we can do the same with a cat as well. Uh, and it says, you know, it's a cat and it's 50% certain for that one. Um, so to get started uh, with Flask, uh, let's first create a file. Um, in fact, this one on the right here, I'm running uh, because I've already built it. So I've already, I'm running it just to show you. So let me just stop that one. Okay, there we go. So now if I refresh that, you can see it won't, it won't load. It just gets stuck loading. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch. So let's first start off with uh, creating a Python file. You can call this anything you want. Um, and then we want to import Flask. But before we do that, uh, just do pip install Flask. I've already done it. So it's going to say that I've already got it here. Um, but for your case, just do just run pip install Flask. Um, and then once we've done that, we can import it. So from Flask, let's import Flask. Um, and then the standard Flask stuff. So app equals Flask underscore name, like so. Um, and then we want to create roots. So if you've used Flask before, uh, we do this by doing the following. So app.root. And we want to say when we go to our, uh, just the, the forward slash, so not, not adding anything to, you, to the URL. So when we just go to localhost 3000 uh, forward slash, then let's, uh, let's accept a get request. So we can do that in here. Oops. Okay. Uh, and then for now, let's just return hello world. So we create a function and we can return some kind of text here. So uh, let's just do hello world. And you'll see that, oh, in fact, before we do that, we just need to run it. So, so we can do if name equals, equals main, then app.run. And then we can set our, oops, our port to be 3000. You can set it to any port that you want. Uh, and let's just set debug equal to true. Uh, and then if we run this now, so we can do, uh, am I on the right folder? Yes. So we can do Python app.py. And what have we got here? We've got an error. Ah, sorry. I just realized what my mistake was. This is a, a list, right? So the method isn't the correct term. It's not the correct uh, name of the parameters, methods. So if we run that again, Finally, this time it worked. Uh, and if we go to the page, you can see it just says, hello world. So what we really want to do is we want to build some kind of template uh, and Flask does this for us. We want to have like a template page where we can then add some more data to later. So to do this with Flask, let's just create a new folder called templates. Uh, and then within, within templates, let's create a new file, index.html. Uh, you can call it anything you want. Uh, so in here we can say, uh, let's, let's create some standard, oops, some standard HTML here. Uh, if you're new to HTML, I've got a short video, uh, about that. If you want to get up to speed, uh, but let's just create a some standard HTML here. Uh, and we've got a head and we can put a title. Let's call it, uh, I don't know, tutorial. Um, and then our, in our body, we can have some kind of uh, h1 tag. And we can say image classifier. In fact, yeah, that's what we called it before as well. So if we save that and then give this a refresh. Ah, so the reason why it's not there is because we want to return uh, this template page instead. So what we want to do is we also need to import something called a render template. 
And what we can do here is instead of returning uh, the text like we did before, we can do render template uh, and then the name of our file. Uh, we don't need to specify the path to it. Uh, we can just put in the file name and it will Flask automatically looks in the templates folder for this. So if I save that, uh, you can see now we've got an H1 tag. Um, this doesn't look very nice. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm also going to add in some bootstrap. You don't have to do this. It's just, um, it looks nicer. So I've just copied this link uh, and it will allow us to access all the bootstrap CSS classes. So if you refresh this now, you can see the font looks a bit nicer. Um, and I think in the example that I had before, uh, we had some, we had it centered. So let's just do text center. And then if I refresh it, you can see it's in the middle now. Um, so back to the important stuff. Uh, we want to be able to, that there's kind of a couple parts to this. We want to be able to have the user to upload data, in our case, the image. We then need to do some pre-processing to it. So get it into the correct format for our model. And then we want to create a prediction. And then finally, we want to display that prediction to the user. So what we want to do, let's start off with the first thing. So allowing the user to upload uh, an image. So we want to create a new route. Uh, and this time we're going to use a post request. Um, we can still keep it uh, to our to our homepage, to forward slash. You can change this if you want, uh, but this time let's add a post request. Now, some people will add it in here and you can have a if statement to, to change, you know, if it's, uh, if the method is post, then you can all have it within one function, uh, for sake of some, for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to create a new function for this. Um, and let's just call it predict. Um, and then, so, so what we want to do is. First, let's add the HTML, uh, whether the user can, can input some stuff. I'm just going to copy and paste, uh, what I had before here. So this is just a, sorry, you can't see that. So what we've got here is a form, um, and it's when, when the form is submitted, uh, it will send a post request to our, our route. Um, and then this is our encoding type, uh, by default, this is something different, but because we're uploading an image, we want to change it to this. Um, and then we've got a button and, uh, the upload section. So if I save that, you'll be able to see this. So you've got your choose file and your predict image here. So what we then need to do is being, we need to be able to, uh, get the image, save it into a folder and then do all of our pre-processing and, and whatever else we want to do to it. So you can see that I've, I've, uh, named this upload bit image file. So in order to access this using flask, we can do image file equals or, or whatever variable you want, uh, and then request dot files. And actually first we need to also import requests here. Um, and then sorry, request. Um, and then re uh, request.files uh, and then the name of that tag and we called it image file. So that this bit here, uh, sorry, this bit here is our name here. Oops. Uh, and so now that we've got the, we need to also be able to now save it. So let's create a path. In fact, let's create a folder as well. We'll just save it into an images folder. So let's say image path is equal to, and we'll go into the images. Uh, and then to get the file name, we can do image file dot file name, and this will return the name of whatever the file was that the user uploads. Uh, and then we can do image file dot save and then the path. So now, uh, if we save that. So now you'll see that if we choose a file and let's say it's the dog, hit open and hit predict. Ah, oh, we've got an error. So the reason we've got an error is because we haven't returned anything. So let's just return render template index.html. 
and if I if we refresh again, if we choose a file, we hit the dog, uh, and then hit predict image. So you can now see if we go in our images folder, the dog is there, and the same if we were to do the cat as well. You can see the cat appears there, uh, and we can just delete these now. Uh, but you can see that that's the the image does get saved uh, when the user if if you're gonna uh, when the user uploads it. Um, and and if you were gonna do this in production, like if you're gonna actually have a a live website, you might want to have some additional checks to make sure you know the user's only uploading images and you know they're they're safe as well. Um, so the next thing is then uh, having the model. So at this point, uh, you want to load your model and then pass the image or text or whatever you're trying to predict uh, you know, into, into this part now. I'm using a Keras model that's already been pre-built. Uh, so I'm using this, this model here, VGG16. Uh, and this is just like a pre-built image recognition uh, model that's that you can get with Keras. Um, so for the sake of like simplicity for, for this tutorial, uh, I'm going to use this um, and the following code um, here. So let me run you through this. So we're going to load the image uh, and then we're going to try and pre-process it uh, into the correct shape uh, that the model wants. Uh, and then what we're going to do is that we're going to make a prediction uh, and then we're going to return our prediction here. Um, and then we want to actually uh, put put in our prediction uh, and give it to our template. So we can say prediction is equal to classification. Um, and in, in this case, you can use really any, you can use sklearn or you could use Keras uh, with TensorFlow or, or whatever you want to load your model here. Um, and then the output of your model, you can pass into your template. Um, and what we'll need to add into our template is some kind of... Uh, um, paragraph tag or some kind of text that will uh, only be there if we pass it a prediction. So that's what this is here. So in, in Flask, if you, you can use this kind of notation here um, to, to say if uh, predict there is a prediction, uh, then display this paragraph onto the screen. Uh, and that prediction is being passed in here. Uh, and it won't get displayed when we just do the standard get request because we're not passing anything in here. So just to show you what that looks like now. So let's save that and save this. Um, and then hit enter to refresh it. And then if we wanted to look at the dog again and then hit predict, ah, we got a, we've got an error. <laughs> so what's the error? name and model is not defined. Um, ah, yes, my bad. I forgot to add the model in. So we can just do this at the top here. Uh, if we save that now, so this is this model is from uh, the import here. So it's a pre-built model. Um, you would, if you were using, I think if you're using sklearn, you could unpickle your model. Uh, and if you're using TensorFlow, you can uh, you can use a, they've got like a load model function you could use. So let's try this again. So let's choose our file. We can, we can look at our, we can see if it works. And yet yeah, it says image is a pug. Um, maybe I'll try this out with some other images, but you can kind of get the idea as to how you could adapt this uh, into your own thing. It's relatively simple. There's only two files here. Um, but yeah, if, if you're not too familiar with HTML, I've got a, a, a pretty short tutorial on that. Um, you don't have to include this bootstrap stuff, but it, it looks quite nice. Um, let me just make that bigger. Um, but yeah, uh, if if you get stuck on any of this, then feel free to, to ask me uh, and I'll try my best to answer any questions. But otherwise, thanks for watching.